Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's have a look at the Google Play User Acquisition Report. Okay, so today I want to talk about my favorite report on Google Play, which is the user acquisition report. So like last year I did a video, maybe last year or the year before, called the three reasons why no one is downloading your app. And I talked about the three, re the three biggest problems we have as app developers with our applications not being downloaded is that A, nobody knows about it, B, they don't see the point in it or they don't see why they should download it, or C, everybody hates it. And when we get advice from people, they always refer to the C problem like, they suggest to us to add more features and all this kind of stuff. But most of the time our problem is A, that nobody knows about it. Sometimes it's B, they just don't see the, the point in it. So, But most of the time, like 90% of the time, it's A. So the user acquisition report, the reason I really like this is because it really lays it out. So I'm going to show you what my stats are. This is going to be kind of like a do as I say, don't do as I do kind of thing. Because some of the things I need to approve upon, and every time I look at this I think, all right, yeah, we need to get back under the hood on this thing and do some changes. But have a look at my, my screen right here. Here's my uh, user acquisition report for Ear Agent, which is my biggest app. And I'll show you one of my, one of my apps that aren't so big here in a minute so we can compare them. So it, it, all you have to do is go into your uh, Google Play console, go down to user acquisitions and acquisition reports, and you'll have the acquisition report up here. And over here we see Right, right off the bat, we can see the important bits of information, and it covers those three areas I was talking about. So here you can see store listing visitors versus installers versus buyers versus repeat buyers. So store listing visitors, they've looked at your app store page and they've decided whether or not they're going to download it. So this is the big thing that you want to get to first. If, you, if that number is low, then the thing you need to be focusing on is how do you get people in that. So this column right here, store listing visitors, that's keywords and that's icons. So it's whether or not it comes up in search and, and the title looks good and the, key, the keywords are in search and everything like that and the icon look, looks good. So they're actually, they're actually walking into your shop. They're actually interested. Uh, the installers is whether or not they see the point in it. You know, whether or not your app page is any good. So like advertising as well is really just this first column. Like all that money you pay for advertising it's here because if they get to your app store page and they just don't see the point in it, you know, then you need to optimize that. So like here, I can see I have a 20% conversion rate. So of all the people who download, who look at the store page on a global basis, 27% of people download it, which means I've got room for improvement. But for me, that seems actually pretty good considering what, what it's been in the past. And then of course we can get people to, to actually install it you know, whether or not they're going to, you know, purchase anything and then of the of those people who buy something, how many repeat. So here you can see the stats here are 50. So over this one week period, 55,000 people downloaded, 55,000, nearly 56,000 people viewed it on the store page so that my keywords are working. They're searching. One thing I would really like, and I've asked people at Google about this too, and they always say that it's, a, it's possible, but I've never, nobody, nobody has been able to show me how to do it. If you know how to do this, let me know. Is I want to see what keywords people are using to find this, right? I make assumptions based on things, but I don't, I haven't seen it in Google Analytics and Firebase Analytics or here. So if, if any of you guys out there know how to do that, let me know, because even I've had people at, um, at, at Google, when, they, when I say, can we find out what keywords are? They go, oh yeah, yeah, you can find that out. And when I ask them to show me, they sort of click around and they can't find it. So I don't know if that's possible or not. But anyway, so store listing visitors, 27% are actually installing it. And then, you know, uh, only 30 buyers, 0.2% actually bought it. So, you know, it's low, it's low. And that, that's, that's all on me, right? So this is the bit. Where, um, where we have to focus a lot on, key when we talk about keywords and everything else we talk about. So one of the cool things about this is we can do it measured by acquisition channel. Most of mine comes from Play Store Organic. You know, I got a few uh, AdWords Universal campaigns out, but I mean like really low numbers, like really low daily budgets uh, and third party refers. I don't even know what, what's coming in from that. So, but one of the cool things here is I can do it uh, group by country. Cause you can see here, I, I talked before about how India is a big part of the user base now. So here you can see in the US, 
uh, we get, so of these 55,000, if it's broken down by country, we get in the US, we get uh, 8,000. So we only have like a 30% uh, conversion rate in the US. But in India, we have a 60% conversion rate. So I don't know what I'm doing right on that store page in India, but it is really working. And then other countries have various levels of, of success there. And it's kind of interesting just to go through it and then compare those kinds of stuff. So whenever I do optimization, whenever I'm playing around with keywords, I always do it in English. And if it works in English, then I'll get it all translated and everything like that. So this is something I don't look at as much as I should. Another part of this report, which is really cool, is we have the retained installers. And you don't really get this on the, um, if you go to the most recent. So let's go back to last month. Take a random one here. So in order to get the full 30 days, so you have to go at least a month back. So here, we talked about this over the last few days. Uh, what is user retention like? And for me, like I said, it's poor. I don't have really great user retention, but here you can see the, the full, uh, how many people keep it for a day up to 30 days. You can see here we've got 29% actually go through and download it of those 29%. Um, 55, only 55% will keep it for a day and then 36%. So you can see that it's, it's, it dwindles over time. So, and, but that's been working for me. So I don't consider that, <laughs> everyone keeps going on about user retention. I don't consider that a failure because it seems to be across all of Android that we have these kind of stats. So. You know, I could be wrong. So, you know, and you can see different levels in different countries. So, you know, uh, over here we've got, um, eh, it seems to be pretty consistent across. So anyway, it's, it's a really u useful report. When we talk about where we focus on our ASO efforts, that's what we look at. I mean, and, for, and for most of us, it's this, it's the store listing visitors. And if we get a lots of store listing uh, visitors, but nobody's downloading, then we, you know, we have to really work on the store pages. So let me look, show you an app that doesn't do so well. Uh, this is my, um, so this one here is uh, Chinese Mandarin Alpha Team. Now this one, hand on heart, I thought this was gonna be huge. I thought you know, when we release this one, it'd be Mandarin learners everywhere, Chinese learners everywhere. This is gonna be like an awesome game and they're gonna really, you know, it's gonna be so much better than flashcards. Eh, it's not, you know, it doesn't do that well. So um, here you can see over the last, um, uh, that week we had 102 visitors, 12.7% downloaded, which means I need to look at screenshots, I need to look at description, it's just not, it's not compelling. It's not compelling for them to download and we don't really have, uh, we don't have any buyers. And this is just a random, random one here. Uh, let me go back, uh, this might be the pro version actually. No, actually, so, and then broken down by country, we can see Thailand or whatever. So. You really, it really is not that interesting unless you have like a lot of downloads and have a look at it. So, I mean, for those of you guys who are, whenever somebody asks me about Android marketing, I think the first thing you need to do is look at that user acquisition report. Because if you're not getting the store listing visitors, then you need to focus on your keyword and you need to focus on your uh, icon. So like if, if it's ranking well for certain keywords, and again, I would love to be able to see what keywords people are using to find it. If it's ranking well for keywords and it's coming up in the search rankings, but nobody's actually going into the store listing page, then you know that your icon sucks and the title sucks. Or there's something that's much better there, so you need to look at all of them there. You know, I try to guess what people are gonna be searching on. All right, and if you're getting a, like a high store of visitors and nobody's downloading, then you need to look like, like with me, you need to look at uh, you know, the screenshots and the description and all that kind of stuff. And also the reviews. The reviews are a huge part of it. I mean, if, if I see a bunch of bad reviews, I'll, I'll hesitate. So anyway, uh, just wanted to go through that today. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.